Time and time again, Bascom Palmer Eye Institute has transformed the world of ophthalmology through innovation and invention. For almost 50 years, it has been committed to preventing blindness and helping people maintain their vision. Join us as we trace the history of this pioneering institute and learn how its doctors and scientists have impacted eye care around the globe. Our story begins in the 1920s when Dr. Bascom H. Palmer arrives in Miami. As one of the first ophthalmologists to practice in the young city, he dreams of creating a world-class eye center in South Florida. His dream inspired the founders of what would soon become the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute. In 1958, the newly established University of Miami School of Medicine recruits Edward Norton from Boston to chair its division of ophthalmology. A year later, Victor Curtin joins him, and the two doctors work tirelessly to treat patients, teach a growing number of medical residents, and construct an eye hospital. Just four years later, on January 21, 1962, Bascom Palmer Eye Institute opens its doors with Dr. Norton as its chairman, a position he humbly holds for 30 years. They were soon joined by Lawton Smith, the only neuro-ophthalmologist south of Baltimore, Donald Gass, a macular degeneration specialist, and John Flynn, a pediatric ophthalmologist, which completes the team fondly known as the Founding Five. The fast-paced 1970s brings many advances in research and treatment. Dr. Gass identifies 15 previously unrecognized retinal disorders. He would later be named one of the 10 most influential ophthalmologists of the 20th century. Two doctors, Douglas Anderson and Ralph Kirsch, discover the difference between healthy optic nerves and those in patients with glaucoma. Their findings lead to a gold medal from the American Academy of Ophthalmology. The world's first vitrectomy using instruments invented by Jean-Marie Perel was performed by Robert Mockamer. With these breakthroughs, Bascom Palmer begins its long tradition of medical education and training as ophthalmologists around the world flock to Miami to learn from Bascom Palmer's doctors. Patients were also coming from great distances and it became evident that a bigger and more advanced hospital was needed. In 1976, Bascom Palmer opens its flagship center, the Ann Bates Leach Eye Hospital, which was hailed as the greatest eye hospital in the country at the time. The 1980s is an exciting time of growth as the nation's best and brightest ophthalmologists are recruited. Harry Flynn begins clinical studies to determine how best to treat patients with diabetic retinopathy. Intensive studies on surgical procedures to correct nearsightedness are led by William Culbertson. His findings lead to the development of the popular procedure now known as LASIK. Paul Palmberg redefines glaucoma treatment throughout the world by determining the proper pressure in the eye. One of the first physicians to close a hole in the macula was Bascom Palmer's William Smitty. Research and education also exploded at Bascom Palmer when the Retter Auditorium opened as a state-of-the-art medical education center. Then, the Vision Research Program gets its own home when William L. McKnight, founding 3M chairman, donates the funds for a technologically advanced research center after affirming, Research is the key for tomorrow. In the 1990s, Bascom Palmer's doctors continue their pursuit of innovative treatments and expanded access as the first satellite is opened in Palm Beach County under the leadership of John Clarkson. Richard Forster pioneers research on infectious eye diseases and Timothy Murray becomes one of the world's experts on retinoblastoma, an eye cancer affecting young children. Janet Davis begins extensive research on inflammations of the eye, while Richard Parrish studies anti-cancer drugs to prevent scarring after glaucoma surgery. 
accident victims and patients with traumatic injuries benefit from David C.'s expertise in reconstructive surgery around the eye. Then, Bascom Palmer celebrates being ranked the number one eye hospital in the country by U.S. News & World Report, and Ophthalmology Times ranks the residency program and patient care as the best in the nation, feats that would be repeated time and time again. In the new millennium, Carmen Pugliofito's inventive work in retinal imaging using optical coherence tomography allows doctors to see changes in the eye long before symptoms are apparent to the patient. Biomedical engineer and inventor Jean-Marie Perel announces a new treatment that could eventually make reading glasses unnecessary. Bascom Palmer continues to evolve when new patient care centers in Naples and Plantation are opened. The rapid growth in Palm Beach, Florida far exceeds the capabilities of the existing facility and a new seven-acre campus is built. The beautiful facility instantly becomes a model for eye care centers around the world. Bascom Palmer's vision van travels to New Orleans following Hurricane Katrina to meet the needs of hurricane victims and emergency responders. This mobile clinic is used regularly to provide valuable eye screenings for the underserved. Philip Rosenfeld is credited with saving the vision of millions of people around the world when he revolutionizes the treatment for the wet form of age-related macular degeneration by injecting the eye directly with a colon cancer drug. Following a worldwide outbreak of fungal infections by contact lens users, Eduardo Alfonso is identified by the Centers for Disease Control as the physician who has treated the most cases. Through international media, he delivers a public health warning to patients and doctors around the world, resulting in the recall of a popular contact lens solution and significantly reduces the number of new infections. Today, a team of 1,000 strong continues to make history, all because of one man's vision. For almost 50 years, the most important innovations that have transformed ophthalmology have come from one place, Bascom Palmer Eye Institute. All of these remarkable accomplishments have been made possible due to our extraordinary faculty, dedicated staff, and millions of grateful patients. The story of our past will inspire our future as we restore sight and search for cures to blindness time and time again.